today we will see how to set up the kafka on windows with the help of the chat gpt we will also see that how much the chat gpt is useful for us or for any developer to set up the kafka cluster on the local machine so let's switch to the uh, internet browser and open the chat gpt so the url is uh, chat.openapi.com and here is the ui of uh, uh, chat gpt i have already uh, logged in i have already created my account if you don't have you can also create the account on the chat gpt by verifying your email address and mobile number okay so we need to set up the kafka cluster on windows so ask this question from chat gpt how to set up the kafka on windows let's see whether it uh, reply properly or not Okay, so here we can see that uh, it provided the reply, and see like what it has provided. So the step first is download the Kafka binaries for Windows from the Apache Kafka website. Extract the download archive to a directory on your local machine. Install and configure Java on your Windows machine. Open a new command prompt and start the Juzu Keeper server by running the following command. So here you can see that it provided all the commands, like how to start the Zookeeper, how to start the Kafka, and you can see all the commands over here. And then next one, you you can see that how to create the topic. And after that, you can see it uh, provided the how we can see the list of topics which we. are going to create so through this command we can see the uh, topic open a command prompt and uh, okay so this is basically a producer not a, a i mean to see the uh, topic list but here is the command of the producer and in the below it is showing the how we can you know run the consumer how we can consume the messages So let's you know start. So before you know, you can see that uh, it is saying that to install and configure Java. So on my machine, I don't have the Java and the Kafka installed. So let me show you before you know installing anything. So Java and then type on Google. So it's seems like you know i don't have the java on my machine so first i need to install the java if you don't know how to install the java you can also ask the question from gp chat gpt so how to install the java okay so it's providing the answer that you can download the java from the java website and then install and follow the instruction to complete the installation and then we need to set up the environment variable verify the installation by opening a command prompt in terminal and typing java version which i did in the command prompt okay so let me pause this video and uh, download the java and install the 
you know this software on my machine along with Kafka. Okay, so I have installed and I have downloaded and installed the Java on my system. So let's verify whether uh, it's installed properly or not. Open the command prompt and then type the Java hyphen version. Okay, so here you can see the Java has been installed successfully. It's showing the Java version 19.0.2. Now let's see what is the second step. So it's saying that uh, you know download the Kafka, Kafka primaries for Windows. I have downloaded the Kafka on my system. Now second step is saying extract the download archive to a directory on your local machine. Let's do this one. Okay, so this is the Kafka binaries. Let me extract this file. Great. Let me open this one. Here you can see the uh, Kafka uh, files. So in the bin, there is a bin folder, here you can see all the files and then there is a config folder, all are related to the config, configuration files, next one is like uh, lift folder, so these are related to the library files and license and site document. So we have uh, downloaded the Kafka and extract the file as well. Let's go to the second step. Sorry, the third step, install and configure Java, so we have done it, there is no need to you know, work on this. Fourth step is open a new command prompt and start the zookeeper server by running the following command. Okay, so copy this one and then, okay, so we have to, you know, go to the uh, Windows folder because we are on the Windows machine. So open the command prompt. Okay, so in the bin folder, you can see that is the days one Windows folder. If you are on the Mac, then you you know you can see the Mac files, Mac or Linux. But we are on the Windows, so we have to choose this folder Windows. Go to this uh, and then type the com cmd. Okay, the first command is to run the zookeeper if you don't know what is a zookeeper you can ask this uh, question from chat uh, gpt let me show you what is uh, zookeeper in kafka So ZooKeeper is a distributed coordination service that is used by Kafka to manage and maintain metadata about the Kafka cluster, including the information about broker, topic and partition. So it's providing all the answer of your question. Okay, so go to the, uh, you know, this chat and see, uh, you know, how we can run the ZooKeeper. So let's copy this command and then I will suggest to first, you know, paste it on the uh, notepad. Okay. Copy this one and then go to the command prompt and then paste it so it's saying the system cannot find the path specified let me check okay so uh, if you see that uh, we you know it is starting from the bin windows zookeeper and we are already like you know selected the bin and windows folder so it's better to you know 
go to the Kafka folder and then copy the command and run it. Okay. So if you get any pop-up, allow it. So it seems that uh, Zookeeper has started. You can see a number of lines of code. So no worries. Uh, we will go for the next step. Next step is you know to start the Kafka server by running the following command. Let's copy this one and then paste it in the notepad so first one is zookeeper command we have already run it next one is the kafka server command which we need to run okay let's copy this one go to the folder where we have kafka files so go to the kafka folder and then open the command prompt Paste the command okay. Again, you can see a number of line lines of code. So don't worry. We will go for the next step. So next step is to you know to create a topic. Open the command prompt and run the following command. Okay, let's copy this one. Again, go to the Kafka folder. Open the command prompt and then let me paste it in the notepad. Okay, so this is for creating the topic. So if you see in the last, the name of the topic is my topic. We can change it, but uh, let's keep it as it is this time. I'm telling you for your knowledge. If you want, you can change the topic name. Run this command. Okay, great. You can see the grid topic has been created now go to the next command next command is you know uh, to create the producer so let's copy this command put it into the notepad this is for creating the producer so we all know that uh, uh, Kafka is a massive token to you know produce the messages and then consume the messages so here we are doing the same thing we will produce the messages and uh, make sure that you know the topic name should be the same if it is not then it will not work but you can see the you know the beauty of the chat gpt it is giving you all the command step by step you don't need to do anything Copy this one and then go to the Kafka folder again and open the command prompt, paste it and see what will happen. Okay, so it's you know started. Let me go to the next step. Next one is to you know run the consumer so copy this one put it into the notepad so this is the command of the consumer we will consume the message copy this command go to the kafka folder and then paste it and press enter 
so where's our producer let's find out okay okay so here's the producer it is the consumer we have already started a zookeeper kafka server and the topic so let's put something over here in the producer and see the magic hello great this is perfect you can see that we are producing the messages and here we are consuming the messages let's put something else this is my first kafka project so you can see that we are producing the messages and we are like we are consuming the messages kafka cluster setup has been done successfully with the help of the chat gpt if you don't have any you know a uh, great knowledge you can you know easily set up the kafka cluster on your local machine on your windows machine you don't need to go on the internet and browse the uh, you know uh, the browse the link how we can set up chat gpt can give you all the information all the commands step by step here you can see that within like 15 or 20 minutes we have set up the kafka cluster successfully so if you have some basic knowledge then you can easily set up the kafka cluster with the help of the chat gpt you don't remember the command the steps of the kafka so this is i can say this is you know very beneficial for developer who want to set up something not the kafka or if you want to set up something as or want to do programming so chat gpt is really useful for the developer as well thank you so much please like and subscribe the channel if you like this video thank you so much